Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you'll find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing video and I'll be unboxing the DOS Bluetooth wireless portable speaker. Uh, this is a 12 watt uh, HD sound speaker and it has uh, also 12 hour uh, playtime uh, with the battery so the review is going to be uh, non-affiliated unbiased and honest uh, like my any other reviews I don't provide any affiliated links or paid reviews on this channel so the only opinions you're going to get will be totally honest and unbiased so this review actually is going to be uh, in two different parts uh, although you know they're, they're going to be in one video so the first I'll uh, do a quick unboxing and show will show you the uh, wireless speaker and then I have another Samsung wireless speaker which is close to uh, $150-$180 speaker and I'll compare that speaker with uh, this speaker this speaker is uh, very in inexpensive it's about $40 Canadian and I have heard lot of lots of good things about this speaker. So we'll do the testing and we'll compare with the expensive uh, Samsung speaker, and then we'll see like you know which one, uh, if uh, low price really means anything, or if you're going uh, a quality product with a low price comparing the Samsung one, which is uh, 150, 170 dollars, uh, and uh, what type of uh, sound these two speakers can give you. So let's start with the unboxing. So this is the whole box and let me just take a look here if there's something in here. Actually I can see some of the features they mentioned right here. Although it's kind of uh, hard to read because it's uh, you know the white uh, color is uh, the letters are in white and the box is white too. But let's try. So it has Bluetooth 4.0, audio input jack and also Bluetooth and auxiliary jack and TF card and uh, good performance small size perfect sound quality ease of use sensitive touch control Bluetooth working distance would be 33 feet and then you have here long playtime up to 12 hours of battery life with 50% volume and there are some uh, technical parameters uh, which are right there so output power is 6 watt watt times 2 so that that would be 12 watts and the size is very small, 6 by 6 times 2 by 2.7 times 2.9 inch. And the model number is right there. So let's uh, open it up and see how it looks like. Okay, so I open all the tapes. Now it should come out very easily. So this cover. Okay, so I'll put it here. And then I see that there's a small brochure. It comes in three different colors, uh, black, white, and blue. Uh, this one should be black because I thought that looks the best. And then here are some of the specs. So as you can see that uh, this is actually a touch sensitive button. That's how you uh, increase the or decrease the uh, volume. And all the buttons are actually touch. There's nothing like, you know, uh, old-fashioned or like you know button raised button so everything should be touch and that should give you an elegant look and there's some uh, power input right there so we have a uh, 3.5 millimeter jack and then power button and then charging port uh, and there's a LED indicator okay so I'm not going to go through the whole thing, so I'll just put uh, this aside. But I just noticed something right there: answering and ending a call using your speaker. So it looks like you know you can connect uh, this speaker with your phone, and you can answer an incoming call. So when there's an incoming call, the speaker will generate a tone and a verbal notification to alert you of the event. So briefly press the handset button to pick up. Long press to reject. Okay. So for those who would like to use a speaker uh, instead of your phone to you know talk, then this is another option you have, and it says here using it with your Echo Dot, uh, which is the Amazon Alexa device. Uh, I have that Echo Dot, and then you can connect it with uh, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable. Uh, so that actually 
I'm looking to do that, uh, connecting this with Alexa, and we'll see what happens there. Okay, so let's leave it here for now. Box is empty, but let me just take a look inside. There might be something else. Okay, so looks like we have a uh, power cable, USB cable, and looks like there's a 3.5 cable. Let's take a look. Okay, so they provided a USB cable, uh, which is nice. And also, this is super nice that they provided a 3.5 uh, cable to connect it to another device, for example, Amazon Echo Dot. This piece would cost you like seven to ten dollars if you buy on Amazon, or probably possibly more if you go at a store. But it's very nice of them to you know include this piece, so you don't have to uh, buy this. You can just connect it to your Echo Dot or any smart speaker or anything right away. So thank you for that. And there is nothing else in here. So now here we have the speaker. Okay, so here is the Bluetooth speaker. So this is actually a lot smaller than I was expecting. So when I saw it online or on Amazon, then it looked a little bit bigger. But now here I can see that this is a very small and the size is actually a very nice size, uh, very portable, very handy. Uh, the weight is very negligible. Also feels, feels like you're not holding anything. So let's take a look here. So we have the on-off right there, line in for audio cable, and the TF card, and then we have the micro USB input. Okay, so I'm going to remove this uh, protective layer. Okay, actually it tells you what it is right there, so let me just show that to you before I remove it. So it has here, okay, so right there, it's a volume, previous track, next track, play, mode, and that looks like it. Okay, so I'll put this here. Okay, so now here you can see that, uh, you know, the looks and everything, it looks really good. And so this should be the touch sensitive portion where you increase or decrease the volume. So I'm going to just turn it on to see if there's any charge remaining here. And let's see what happens. Okay, so. Okay, it looks like there's a charge and it's a uh, flashing blue. So it, uh, it could mean that it's trying to connect it to or pair it to another Bluetooth device. So at this point, I'm going to just go ahead and connect it to my phone and then once I like you know have uh, tested uh, the music and everything then I'll come back and show you how this compared with my other Samsung Bluetooth. Thank you. Hello everyone. I was able to connect uh, this uh, DOS uh, Bluetooth portable speaker to my uh, cell phone. So once you turn on uh, the power button which is right here so this is going to go flashing uh, blue and then uh, that means that you know it's waiting to be discovered by your connecting uh, bluetooth device so on your phone if you uh, start bluetooth open bluetooth uh, screen then you'll see that uh, this is as a dos speaker and then you have to just connect it to the bluetooth so there's no problem connecting uh, to the bluetooth very easy setup now what i noticed that this is really a very uh, visually pleasing looking uh, device so the raised uh, top from here and looks like there's a small like you know gap right here uh, so this thing is not you know attached to this body there's a small gap in here and that looks like purely for aesthetic purposes it's not just like you know any uh, fault or anything on the uh, device so it's just made it to look it better and then overall whenever you're holding it or you're just you know touching it um, you have the feeling that this is a very good quality premium product but with a low price so definitely this is something uh, I'm very happy with my purchase 
So I had a chance to listen to a few songs and the sound quality is uh, unbelievable comparing the price. So let me, I'll let you hear a song right now, a uh, music, and then I'll uh, switch back to my uh, Samsung expensive uh, Bluetooth speaker. And then I'll let you hear the same music on my Samsung speaker and uh, then uh, you'll see which one sounds better. So let's uh, start this one and we'll listen uh, to a music on this one. Okay, so what happens here that to turn up or down, you have to just uh, touch this. So this is going down now and we're making it up now this way. Okay, so I paused it. Uh, the sound quality again, it's hard to believe. I just I can't believe that this is like, you know, it can produce such a good sound. So now uh, let me get my uh, Samsung uh, Bluetooth speaker and then I'll, uh, uh, you'll have a chance to listen to my Samsung as well and then you can compare which one is giving you better sound. Hello everyone. I'm back with my Samsung Bluetooth speaker, which is right here. So the name of this model is Samsung DAF60 Portable Wireless Bluetooth Speaker with NFC. So this one cost uh, close to $200. I don't exactly remember how much I paid, but uh, I paid somewhere probably around 170 to 190 in that range. Uh, Samsung doesn't make this anymore, but you can still buy on eBay uh, the same device for 150 to $200, some of them. There's some available items here. So we just tested uh, the DOS. Now I'm going to play uh, the same music on Samsung and then uh, I'll come back uh, and I'll give you my opinion which one sounds better. So let's start. <laughs> So this one is actually higher. This is 20 watt and this is I believe 12 watt. But the problem with this one that this is more expensive. This is made of all metal and uh, it has uh, you know that elegant look as well. So it's not plastic, it's everything metal. And then uh, the problem with this that when you uh, sound the uh, music, when, when you play music, it gets distorted if I play it higher. And especially when there is a drum uh, in the music, then it gets like uh, totally distorted and the voice becomes the music becomes really uh you know hard to hear you can you can feel it right away that you know it gets distorted but i didn't have the problem with this one so if you uh, listen to the beginning of the music uh, i don't know if the, if the camera will be able to catch it but let me play the same music again in the beginning and then you can hear the drum is getting distorted uh, because something uh, you know uh, Although it's a, it's an expensive product, but product, but it cannot perform like the cheap product like this one. So let's try uh, the beginning of the music again, and you you'll know what I'm talking about. So I, I guess that should be good enough. You can hear that the I think it's the drum. Uh, it gets like totally distorted uh, when uh, you know you go a little bit higher. So I just compared these two, uh, 100, close to 200, uh, could be like in 170, 180, or even 150, and this is $40 Canadian. On sale, you can even pick it up for $30 Canadian. 
uh, what do you think which one is better uh, if you have if you like you know in my opinion I would go with this one uh, in terms of like you know the value you're going to get uh, you cannot beat that uh, this is a really a color quality product and everything and this one I feel like after having this one that uh, I just wasted my money so that was my honest opinion and review uh, if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, these are not all of these are non-affiliated, unbiased, and honest opinion. There are no affiliated links, no paid, no nothing. So this is where you can get uh, quality reviews and honest opinion. And uh, on this channel, I do also travel videos and other videos. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now because uh, there will be more videos coming up. And I'll see you shortly. Thank you.